Let us discuss the algorithm for hip tree deletion. In the previous video, we explained hip tree deletion with two examples. Please watch that video because this video is in the continuation of the previous one. Now in this video, we are going to discuss the algorithm and with the algorithm, we shall be doing the tracing. Okay, see, algorithm del hip tree n item. What is tree? That is the array. As hip tree is a complete binary tree, so we have discussed this one earlier that hip tree should be represented in array representation because as it is, it is a complete binary tree, so there will be no free space up to n locations. So tree is an array containing the hip tree and n is the number of data, valid data or number of nodes in the hip tree and item is the output argument. So whatever is going to be deleted will be the output argument in item. So this is my tree say. So we are having how many number of locations? We are having 11 locations. So whatever I have written in black uh, ink, they are nothing but the location number of the array tree. And these are the respective values at those locations. So here the value of n will be 11 at first. So 11 has been passed. Okay, now see item is equal to tree 1. So the first item is 95. So 95 will be coming to item. 95 will be coming to item. Okay. Last is equal to tree n and n is equal to n minus 1. So last is equal to tree n. So the 11th locations contain is 15. So it will be coming down here and n is equal to n minus 1. So it will become 10. Obviously in case of in SIP, we saw that n was incremented because after insertion obviously the number of node count will be increased by 1. In case of del heap obviously after deletion the node count will be decreased by 1. So lock is equal to 1 that is a free space. I told you that the root node will be deleted and the leaf node will be deleted and now this particular 15 will be placed to that particular place. Okay, So 15 has been kept in, in last and 95 has been kept in item. So my tree has got shape like this. That means the 15 is not there because my n has become 10. So up to 10th location, we are having my valid hip tree. The last, uh, sorry, the item is not there because it, it has got deleted. And this is the value I have kept already in last 15. So I shall be considering this tree now for the tracing purpose. So lock is equal to 1 means the free space left is equal to 2 y because you know kth node will have the left child at 2 star k and right uh, right child at 2 star k plus 1. So 2 into 1 2 2 into 1 plus 1 3. So lock will be equal to 1 left will be 2 and right will be 3. Now while right is less than equal to n yes 3 is less than equal to 10 it is true. So I am coming down last is greater than 3 left and last is greater than tree right. That means I am expecting that the last value, if the last value is greater than both the left child and the right child, then obviously in the free space the last will be placed because the left child and right child are less than equal to, to this particular last. So if the last is greater than equal to left child and last is greater than equal to right child, that is tree right, then tree free space that is lock will be occupied or will be updated by last and returned. So here you see the left child is 85 and right child is 72. So they are not uh, greater, last is not greater than or equal to for both of them. So that's why this condition is not getting true. So if tree right is less than tree left, that means if the left child is having more value, then in the free space, left child will be going and the free space will be coming to the left position. Otherwise in the free space, that is tree lock, the right child will be going and the lock will be coming down to the right child's place. So what will happen if the last is greater than this and this then in the free space last will be put and return otherwise I shall check whether it is greater or it is greater. If it is greater then it will be going to this free space and the free space will be logically coming down here or if it is greater then it will be going to the free space and this free space will be coming down to this particular place. So that has been written in this particular code. So now as the free space is getting changed, so I should recalculate the left and right again. So left is equal to 2 star lock and right is equal to 2 star lock plus 1. So it is a very simple algorithm 
but it will work if right is less than equal to n. So, that is the same. Now, see here according to the algorithm let me do. So, here 85 is greater than 72. So, 85 will be going to this particular place and this location number 2 will become the lock. So, lock will become 2. As lock is becoming 2, so left will become 2 into 2, 4 and right will become 2 into 2 plus 1, 5. Now, see this right is less than equal to n. This right is less than equal to n. So, I can again go into this looping in this particular while block. Now, see here we are having 4 and 5. So, 4 and 5, so both are greater than this last and this particular 35 is greater than than this last. So, greater than this left chart. So, 35 will be going up because it is more powerful having the higher value. So, it will be going up and the lock that is a free space will be coming down logically. So, now 35 will be written here according to the algorithm and then the lock will be coming down to this particular place. So, lock will become 5. So, left will become 2 into lock and right will become 2 into lock plus 1. So, it will become 11. So, now right is less than equal to n is not true. So, right is less than equal to n is not true. So, that is why I shall come out from this while. So, now this if is going to be checked. That means, this particular blank space which is not yet filled up with any value, here it is not having any right child. So, now I shall have to compare it with the left child only. Okay. So, that is the issue. And another thing is that very important, please see here n is equal to 10 and also the left child is at, at the 10th place. So, now if left is equal to is equal to n, yes it is matching because both are 10 and last is less than tree left. What is the tree left? What is the left value? Is 10. So, at the 10th place what you are getting? 23. So, 23 is greater than this last 15. So, 23 should come up. 23 will be placed here. It has been written here. See tree free space or lock is equal to tree left. So, 23 will be coming down there coming up there and lock will come down. So, lock is equal to left. So, what I am doing here is that 23 will be going to this particular place and lock will be coming down to the 10th place. So, lock will be the 10th place. Okay, I am writing this one as 5 crossing this one and making this one 10 that will be good enough. So, lock will be the left and ultimately tree lock will be equal to item. So, what is the tree lock? Tree lock is 10. So, at the 10th place, I am putting this item. Item uh, tree lock is equal to, oh sorry, this is last because item is the output argument. So, now, so 15 will be coming down here at the lock place. Item is the output argument I told you earlier. Item is the output argument. Last is the value which got deleted from the leaf node and then it put logically it has been put at the root node and now reaping, reaping is taking place. So, it is coming down to the levels and ultimately at the desired level it is getting inserted. So, this is the final deleted uh, after deletion this is the final hip tree after deletion of the after deletion operation carried out on this particular hip tree. This is the final. And you see, it is also following the max hip logic. So, this is my algorithm. I have written this algorithm almost in the C like or Java like syntax. You can easily convert it to the respective uh, program. This algorithm can be written as a respective program, and this is known as the del hip. Remember always that in case of in hip, n is getting increased by 1, and in case of del hip, n is getting decreased by 1. So, if you want to implement this one, in your C programming, obviously this n should be in call by reference. Item here is the output argument should be in call by reference and tree is the name of the array. So, that is a tree and these are the variables. So, in this way the algorithm is working. So, I have discussed each and every line into details along with this proper tracing. Hope you have got the logic. Thanks for watching this video.